Hello, my name's Hayley from Little Scientists, and at the other end of the line today, I've got Leandro and Sibylla from the Little Scientists. Hello, Leandro. Okay, and Leandro's got an experiment that was sent home from school. Um, and uh, are you going to talk me through it, Leandro? Today we have Lego people in water so we can see which spices go down first, melt first, and we can experiment how they can melt fastest. Okay, so I'm gonna, while you're putting out that, that ice on the, um, on the sources, I'm going to talk, talk uh, the people out, out back home through, that, through the experiment. So what Leandro and Sibylla have done is they've filled an, um, a cupcake tray, a silicon cupcake tray with Lego people and then they've topped them up with water. And, and uh, Leandro, do you have one without a Lego person in it as a control? Yes. Perfect. So Leandro's got one, one um, ice cube which doesn't have a Lego person in it. And what he's doing is he's putting each one on a saucer. Um, and then he's going to add different spices to each of those ice cubes to see whether they make a difference in how they melt. Now, Leandro, what we should do is we should leave one, maybe one with a person in it, to melt on its own without putting anything on, okay? And that can be our control. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the, about the same amount, don't know whether you can hear my chickens um, clucking in the background there, sorry about that. Um, we're probably gonna add the same amount of spice onto each one of our ice cubes, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so, What's the thinking behind uh, choosing cayenne pepper? Is cayenne pepper spicy? Yes, cayenne pepper is spicy. So do you think if it's spicy it melts faster? No, I think it'll melt that. Just normal? Yeah. Okay. Well, because the chili is hotter than the cayenne pepper, or the cayenne pepper was hotter than the salt, then it might melt it faster. Um, which do you think is going to melt the fastest, Leandro? I think the carb soda. Bicarb soda. Okay, cool. So there's a couple of things you can try at home. You could do maybe some time-lapse photography. So you could set up a camera to take a photo every few minutes um, and then uh, run those as a video and you can watch each one of your ice cubes melt at a different rate. Um, you could um, measure with a ruler, maybe every <coughs> half an hour to see how your um, how it has melted or how it has gone. Or what we're going to do is we're going to wait an hour and then check back in with our ice cubes and see how it looks. Okay. How's it going back there? How's it going, Leander? It's going very well. <laughs> Okay, so is that turmeric that you have on that on that one? All right, so we have turmeric here. What is oh. this one, Leandro? Oh. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> and now we're gonna add some chili, chili mm -hmm. flakes. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat that. So we have chili flakes here. Chili flake. I'm about to eat three. You wanna watch me? No, oh, no, no, I don't want to watch you eat chili flakes. No! Nope, nope not on camera. I ate it. <laughs> Cayenne pepper, <laughs> turmeric. We have bicarb soda here, and now we're going to add some salt on one. Mm. So, our last one is salt. It's going on now. <laughs> Leandro, did you know? Leandro, did you know that in the UK, they put salt and sand on the roads in order to melt the ice so that cars can drive safely. Mm. Mm. Why do you think they did that? Why do you think they put salt and sand on the roads? So they could both go together and make it really hard. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's two reasons. 
The first is the salt helps the ice melt, but secondly, the sand makes the ice have a better grip. So while the salt is working, the sand will also help grip the cars to the road. Okay, so I'm let's have start. one last look at your experiment setup, and then we'll check in in an hour to see what's happened. All right, so here we have marked everything. The little people are blissfully still entombed in their in their icy new homes, icy poles. And let's see what happens soon. So at the moment, like when we look at it, do you think there's one that's melting faster at this stage? Mm -hmm. Right one, there. That oh, one. that's actually our control piece. So the under thinks that the one with nothing on it currently melts the fastest. Right? No, no. Why? Because it has nothing on it. Oh well, let's find out, right? I think the car by our soda is. Okay. Okay. So bicarb soda is our current guess. Okay. So I will uh, check in with you in a in a few hours, well, in an hour's time, to see what see what the results are. As we're just checking in with Leandro to see what happened. So remember, we've got some ice box with um, now. Leandro, can you remind me? We've got turmeric, we've got salt, we've got chili, cayenne pepper, and bicarbonate soda. Uh, the chili, turmeric, sea salt, sea salt, and control. Okay, and um, and put. Uh, let's sh see what you've got. Can we angle it? Okay, talk me through it. Point to which ones they are. Salt, control, turmeric. Chili and cayenne pepper. And which which result gave you the best best melting? The salt because it went right in to the bottom. That's fantastic. So we've got a clear winner here. You have a go at home and see which one wins for you. But we've had salt melting the best one. Salt milk. Like an hour to show you. Look at this. Oh, and this wow. one. This one was the second winning. The bicarb soda. <gasps> okay, so some fantastic results there. If you have a go at home, and maybe you could even post us your results, some photos of your results on Facebook. Okay, right. We're going to say goodbye from the little scientists. Bye, Bye. Haley.